Hey guys, welcome back to another Chris Nolte fishing video. Today we're fishing um, a pond, of course. We're fishing it with a chatterbait. Big chatterbait. I'll get more into the video, guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another Chris Nolte fishing video. We're here. Um, fishing a chatterbait. Um, just picked this one up from, uh, from Dix. So... In the next day or two, I should have um, a video out all about chatterbaits and all that. So I'll tell you a little about my setup here. So, of course, fishing on a favorite fishing army. Um, like, I think this is a seven footer, uh, medium heavy, but it's got 15 pound fluoro on it, um, connected to I think 40 pound braid with a uh, Z Man. Freak. Uh, big blade on it and a uh, white of course and just a um just grass pig on the back of the Berkeley last grass pig um yeah i'll have the uh a video out all about the chatterbaits and how i throw them like, how do i throw this but throwing it it's kind of windy out so yeah i thought kind of spinnerbait type profile it's real sensitive it'll give it a big um vibration pattern in too this is my first time throwing it so we'll see oh yeah it freaking i'm barely reeling it and my rod is all over the place dude this is some spinner rate type stuff this is gonna be good though So it's about start of April here. I really haven't seen them get too, like, eating up yet. Weather's been kind of, oh, damn. Weather's been kind of bad. Um, but, yeah, this one doesn't help. It's good not to eat. It's Maryland weather, so if anyone lives in this area, they know it can be like windy this day and it's gonna be eight tomorrow. It's gonna be crazy. Hopefully just entice one or two fish to, that are coming up shallow to chow on this thing. It'd be sick. I mean, I can see it the whole way. So hopefully they can too. Water's kind of clear. Might end up, I have a jig box in my backpack here. So I might just end up throwing a jig if need be. I don't think I have any Senkos or anything. My drop shot rigs at home. Bunch of algae here. Looks like a summertime thing. Maybe uh, all the hydrilla really pops up. Haven't really seen any hydrilla. This is all algae. Hopefully this dies off soon. They need to spray it or something. Let's see, pass this. Yep, so. There's a lot of trout guys around. I might just end up having to walk into the other side. There seems to be these huge piles of like, some type of algae here. It's like the algae that's usually here. I mean, usually in like July and June and August, it gets all matted up here. But I didn't expect that. But it's, it's not like that. It looks like something that would happen when you pump it. It looks that thick. And watching this thing go through the water smacking around as it does hunting dude because of how tight the uh, or how small the trailers or how skinny the trailers it hunts so i feel like it's about to just get like, smacked down on one it's got a big old six out hook on it so so yeah it's a plus so it's like turning into an advertisement for uh, for Z-Man. Maybe, you know, 
That one's Osprey. I'll definitely send Greedo that. Right. Shoot me some baits. I'll review the hell out of them. Yeah, I'm gonna walk around. Just trying to bypass all the trout guys. I don't know. One go and stocked it, but there seems to be a lot of them here. Other how it is. Water's super cold. I don't know how that's gonna affect the fish. I feel like it's gonna kind of shut them down. They want consistency. You can't blame them. If it was 51 day and 90 the other next day, you wouldn't know what's going on. So, yeah. Let's see if a couple are at least. big for a pond, but I feel like it'll be super good. Oh, Chesapeake, Potomac, anywhere I see it has a big fish, I feel it would play. I feel like this would be a killer on like Harris Chain. No, I never fished it. Seems like it sets up well. You know? Yeah, spot. It's a textbook that up well. It's a jerk bait in Cumberland. It's just how it goes. You're like darting out on a crankbait. Clear Lake and glide baits. This is the bait that's made for, for that place. I might fish this bait a little more though. This place has some, some sticks and a channel that swings out. Pretty big channel actually. I get a couple from this. I got a couple in the past. Oh. Big stick. Okay. There we go. I set bomb my cash up there. My line's getting all weird, but that's the uh, all the algae that was on it. You can see that all up on my bait. I like how this bait sets up in the water. It's good. Casting in the, the wind probably isn't the best thing. But it gets me bit. You know, it tracks so interesting too. It haunts. So cool. It like flutters off to the side and stuff. I think it 
So this dock sets up interesting. I feel like it sets up from, as like any other dock. But it's like the biggest piece of structure on this on this of man-made structure on this entire pond. So yeah, there's trees and stuff and that's a bank and all that. So, I've caught some big ones off this dock though. Catch big ones off all the time off dock. They just seem to be here all year round because it attracts the bee fish. You know, there's sticks down there and like a brush pile and all that. There's like three or four brush piles in this little area. Ten inch bass here, but I didn't catch them. There you go. God damn, dude. Smack the shit out of my chatterbait, dude. I gotta be able to make better cast than that. I gotta make sure the chatterbait's okay. I think we're good. Didn't snap off, so I'm happy. First time fishing, and you break it off. I think we're good. Is it all right? Oh yeah, it tracks still pretty good. I can see where I hit it. And it's not good. Gotta bend it back. It turns right. Is this one right?
Yeah, here's one of the brush piles. Water just looks a tad more dirty over here. Interesting. I think it's more dirty on this side of the lake than any other one. So, I'm gonna move them. So, I need to move a little farther up. I've seen a bunch of blue, though, which I feel like is a great sign. I feel like I'm not throwing the right bait, the right color. I feel like it's gotta be like darker, more natural. Might end up throwing a jig. I don't think I haven't seen these blue yellow. Oh, there's a little bass. Saw two tiny ones. That was the first spawner? I don't know yet. Trout spawn might have, or trout. Stock might have messed him up. Oh, he's a little bass. Oh, yeah, he's definitely making a bed there. He was like reluctant to leave. So, like an absolute speed. He should. For the bluegills, and a bunch more. Scan off the tracks. Little bass. See a couple more gills. See a lot more life. Maybe if I find one, I'll, like lock them to a bed, I might. End up just you know, putting a jig on or something. I might be a video for another day, though, guys. Um, I might close out here, but honestly, really might have to change up the bait something I don't have time to do that in this video so I might just cut it here guys but I do really want to thank you guys for watching I really do appreciate it every like every subscribe really helps and push me forward every comment good or bad we push me forward guys good or bad nah maybe but uh but yeah I really want to thank you guys for the like comment do all that. I really appreciate it. Really been up in my craft. Everything I do here. So, uh, so thank you guys. Appreciate it.